Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've picked up the camera, but we are just heading out to Vegan Life Live at Alexandra Palace, which I only realised was there like yesterday and I managed to get two tickets on Groupon for £7 and it's in my local area, so I was like, perfect. Can't wait to go, can't wait to see what they've got there this year. I've been there like a couple of times before, maybe the last time was a good three years ago. Um, I always end up spending an obscene amount of money. So let's see if that, <laughs> if that is the same case today. I mean, I'm gonna try and be a bit more sensible, but you also might be getting a haul at the end of this video. Let's see what they've got there. Don't mind the mess on either side of this clip, but this is what I'm wearing. I've got my Lucy and Yak massive big baggy jeans on, which I absolutely love. Also <laughs> sponsored by Lucy and Yak, not sponsored. Um, and this top that I picked up from TK Maxx uh, last summer, it is long, but I've just obviously tucked it in and it is backless um, and I really like it. Just having a little sit down because this hill is crazy. time at vegan life live i think it happens every year once or twice a year like i said the last time i went it was about three years ago so since then if you know anything about what food there is available it is totally different like there is so many more options so many more vegan ideas and vegan stalls and also it had a lot of like non-alcoholic beverage stuff there because that's becoming a lot more popular these days um so there was a lot of stuff there a lot of good food i showed you a video of the food that i got at the end um that was a pretty good deal actually like five pound it wasn't a huge plate but it was more than enough for a lunch there was another jamaican stall there that i was tempted to get food from um and they had a vegan curry goat curry no goat and i was like drawn to that instantly and then i looked at the price and it was 18 pounds for, for a no goat curry, 18 pounds. I couldn't believe that. I think that's like, that's silly, 18 pounds for a, for a curry. Um, and considering it doesn't have any of like the animals in it, which I always think should make things cheaper because animals lives should cost way more than they do. They should be much more expensive when they've got the animal products in in them I think um, so I didn't get that got that good deal instead and then we did buy quite a few uh, products that I am pretty happy with so I thought I would do a little haul um, I think I'll start out with some of the freebies that we got so I think I mentioned in the previous part of this video that we got some Pana Chocola, um, sort of, things. 
for free and because obviously there was two of us there all you had to do was sign up with your email address um to the newsletter which of course you can unsubscribe to if you so wish after um and we got two of these and i'm well happy about that i grew up eating these for breakfast on a on a, on a naughty day uh, i'd also have those like do you remember those little pancake wraps with the chocolate in the middle putting them in the microwave for five seconds oh that was my favorite that was my favorite breakfast slash snack um i haven't seen any vegan versions of those i'm dying for a vegan version of those but i feel like vegan ready-made pancakes are not really a thing um but this is the next best thing so now we're fully stocked up and these will last forever as well so i'm glad we got two packets of those then we were walking past the Biomel stand and we got a free Biomel uh, little drink. I really like these chocolate gut health drinks. Um, and I did wake up having a little bit of a, not a dodgy stomach, but just something was a little bit not right. So that was perfect. That was exactly what I needed today. So I should probably drink mine. Johan's already had his. Then we walked past a cheeky panda stool we use cheeky panda we use their toilet roll sometimes we kind of swip, swap between a few different brands um we use their water wipes or you know they're i think they're mostly water wipes they don't really have any other additives which i find really a glass of wine oh. really. <laughs> thank you <laughs> so we picked up some of these freebies just little packs of tissues not much to say always handy mm. I do really want to drink this, but I've got my Invisalign in. But you know what? Sometimes I'm just a rebel. It's the Aquarius in me. Next up, we went to one of our favourite stalls that we've been to multiple different times that we've been to Vegan Life Live. We've gone to this stall and it is Hempen. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They're a hemp brand cbd brand and they do loads of different hemp stuff and um, before we've had like hemp oils cbd oils before we got this massage like oil with cbd in it that was that was really good as well this time we just got some whole hemp seeds because they're always a good addition to add to our breakfasts um in the mornings we often have muesli or like overnight oats um museum yogurt and adding any sort of seeds and and oh shit marley sorry my cat is just trying to escape out of the open window there um and he is allowed on the window i do actually let him on the window so it's quite a big window seal so he's not gonna die when he goes off of there but also i could do without it right now <laughs> so yeah we just got some hemp seeds from them this time because i'm i I'm currently using Vitality CBD and I'm really enjoying using that. And also I keep getting really good deals on Groupon, um, Vitality CBD on Groupon. If you need new CBD, I would highly recommend those because you can get them for a really good price. You can get like a £40 off voucher for 10 quid or something. I can't remember what the exact deal is, but it gives you a good like 30, 40 quid off if you get a couple of CBDs. So highly recommend complete sidetrack complete side note there this was the first thing that i picked up um and it's a new crystal baby i have been after this particular crystal uh for a good couple of months now i'd say a good three or four months um it's quite an expensive one and i did really want it in a jewelry piece i wanted it in a necklace uh, but then you're looking at a good like couple of hundred quid for a necklace and also i mean i don't know if you believe in this sort of stuff i do although i'm not that educated on crystals and stuff i've got a lot to learn but um i think this particular crystal can be quite an intense one so it might not be something that i'd want to wear every day so instead i did get just a little a little ball square um of it and it is malachite so this is what it looks like hopefully you can see that i'm just going to stop my cat from going outside again so malachite is 
often known as the kidney stone and for anybody that does know me I have kidney problems, kidney stones, I have kidney stones unfortunately not malachite ones um, and so I thought it was quite appropriate for me to have my own kidney stone as a crystal um, and who knows what this is going to bring I'm a little bit, I don't know, I, I've been wanting this for so long so I thought it was about time I just went ahead and you know got it I think if you really are drawn to crystals then you should just get the crystal my cat's scaring me because this window isn't open very much it's like sliding out the bottom of it um and i've been drawn to this one yeah as i said for a good couple of months now it's supposed to be good for the kidneys healing for the kidneys but who knows i'm going into it with no expectations we will see what comes my way so recently me and johan have been going to the gym way more um and i'm feeling really good for it like i feel a lot fitter and stronger um and we have been having protein powder as well. We've currently just got this pea, pure pea protein powder. Um, it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good. So we do end up mixing it with like a lot of other stuff just to like conceal the taste because that just shaken is like, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't be dealing with that. Um, but we tried this protein today. Um, it's called Enriched. Enriched protein, plant protein powder, and we got it in the chocolate flavour, and we tried it just with, um, mixed with, I don't know if we tried it mixed with milk or water actually. Either way, it was really good. So this is a kilogram, I think it costs like 25 quid, sorry, I haven't remembered many of the prices that I've been talking about, um, but I, going to vegan life live you do get a discount on a lot of the stuff that you buy so any of the things that i've been wanting to get i just thought oh, i'll just get it now because there's often like 25 5 percent off 10 percent off 25 percent off some companies even do like half price when you're there which is a really good deal this had a lot of money off this was i think originally worth like 40 pounds which i think is expensive for a prote protein powder um but I don't really know that much about how expensive protein powders usually are. And then I think we paid like 24 or something for it. Um, got lots of good stuff in there. I won't read, I won't bore you and read you off the ingredients list. But it tasted good, so that's all I really care about. I honestly didn't think this would be as big a haul as it is. Or as long a haul as it is. I think maybe I'm just talking a lot. Um, the next thing that we got were, oh, this is my favourite brand. Mm, one of my favorite brands of vegan cheese can't actually remember the other brand name um but it's in black packaging this is mouse's favorite and this was the first vegan cheese in the uk that i had that was like yeah that feels like proper gourmet like very cheese boardy style cheese i love via life i love all of the other like you know cheddar slices or whatever you get but they don't they're not the sort of stuff that you can have on a nice cheese board and i was really missing that and i went to france to visit my boyfriend's parents and there was one shop there that sold amazing french vegan cheeses and they were so good um and these come very close so this is mouse and mouse's favorite uh this is the apricot one which I have tried before delicious and this is the camembert style one um and they did have a discount they had five percent discount which I, I think it's not as that small a company they could have done a bit more of a discount is what I'm trying to say I think and then it was like buy three get the fourth half price and i was just like what sort of deal is that like i think it should be <laughs> buy two get one free or buy three get one free but because a lot of the other places had some incredible deals going on and i was a bit like that is not the best deal um but it's still a deal i'm not complaining i'm just saying i could do with it being a little bit cheaper you know but i'm really happy with these and we're gonna have a cheese board tonight with some like vegan salami and some white wine, which I shouldn't be drinking with my Invisalign in, but I, I am, I am. Marley, come on. 
In, out. Oh, in, out. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> I put <laughs> put an Instagram up, um, an Instagram video up on Marley's Instagram page, which is Marley's Antics. Um, and someone commented, the man handling this cat in this video it was really, really difficult to watch or something. I was just like, come on guys, just because you can't handle your cats like I can handle mine. Marley loves being picked up. He is like so affectionate. That comment made me really laugh. On to the alcoholic slash non-alcoholic section. And these are the last two products actually, so you don't have to sit through this for much longer. I recently actually did hear about this. I saw the brand name and I was like, that rings a bell. I, th I think it might have been Lucy Moon was mentioning this brand of non-alcoholic wines and spirits. And they had a stall at Vegan Life Live and they're called Three Spirit. Um, and we tried, oh, we forgot to get it actually. We were very close to getting one of their liqueurs as well, which was really, they had some, some of this stuff now guys, some of this non-alcoholic stuff is like so good. Obviously it never tastes like it's got alcohol in it, but sometimes it smells like it does. And sometimes the taste is very, very close. Like I wouldn't feel like I was missing out if I didn't want to drink. Me, personally, I like to drink, but I'm more than happy to be having a delicious, non-alcoholic, uh, I guess this is like a white wine um, alternative, and this was bloody delicious. It was so refreshing and zingy and, you know, really could, I could find myself like replacing an actual glass of wine with this if I didn't want to drink for whatever reason. It says crisp, green and elegant with a racy acidity, soft floral tannis, mouth watering minerality and herbal finish. Sip, savour and sharpen up. That was a tongue twister. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to chilling this and having this on a night that, you know, is a little bit, we want something but it doesn't necessarily have to be wine all the time. Note to self, Ella, note to self. And the last thing we got, which is why we didn't actually get the last brand spirits, because then we stumbled across um, O'Donnell Moonshine. I feel like I've heard of that before, but O'Donnell Moonshine, uh, the tough nut flavor. Oh, this, this is alcoholic. Uh, yeah, it's alcoholic, but it's bloody delicious. Soft and velvety moonshine liqueur with the aromatic taste of hazelnuts, caramel, and... Oh, how do you say this? Nougat? Nugget. Nugget? Nougat. Nougat? Mm, you know what I mean. But it was bloody delicious. So that will be... Oh, that'll be something that we drink as more of like a nightcap sort of thing like on its own maybe with a bit of a bit of ice or something just because we love love the taste of that um and with that and only they didn't sell it i think they should really just sell these like originally because you had to pay an extra three pound for this um but it is like a one-time purchase i guess you don't have to always keep buying these even if you keep buying these and i like the packaging as well i really like the jar that it comes in Think that's very nice and yeah so this you can just screw on top and then you can easily pour it out because you can imagine this would be a nightmare to pour out of and that is the haul i predicted it we spent some money you know but it, sometimes you've just got to treat yourself <laughs> this is what i tell myself anytime that i spend more money than i probably should is that sometimes You've just got to treat yourself and today was, was one of those days so that's the haul um i'm looking forward to tucking into a lot of these bits over the next couple of days slash hopefully i can hold some of the some of the stuff out until next week um and yeah i really enjoyed my day today i hope you enjoyed coming along with me briefly and seeing what i got and i will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching guys give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to me if you haven't already um i really love chatting to you guys so leave a comment down below 
tell me if you've ever been to Vegan Life Live and if you would ever like to go and if there's any other non-alcoholic brands that you really love please send them my way because I'm I'm I just love tasty stuff and I'd be more than willing and wanting to try out some other non-alcoholic brands so yeah let me know and I will see you in the next video bye